What up, peeps? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And that's the vlog. Deuces. Gay Babe TV coming at ya. What up, peeps? Join us. Love, life, and laughter. The point of it all. Cause if we don't have love, then nothing else really matters. Highs and lows. See the joy that it brings. Gay Babe TV. coffee yet so I'm tired um, and haven't had enough sleep so in the last two days so yeah that's probably another reason I'm tired <sighs> I just got to ray off to school and now I'm gonna um, get my windows tinted on my car finally so I'm taking my car dropping it off and then hopping a, a Lyft an Uber or a you know or just a random car on the side of the road uh, <laughs> to uh, get to my next location so, um, Gabriel's over here in the bed. I am. Do I look a mess? You look beautiful, sweetie. Thank you. I mean, I don't know how you. <laughs> I thought this was a halo over your so over your head, but it actually just was your yeah, pillow. Bare pillow. Yeah. I washed the sheets last night. I was so tired. I just was like, I'm just going to bed. I ain't put nothing back on here. Yeah, well, cause she conked out with Reagan putting her to bed. I conked out in my office. Yeah. So yeah. So. And then Lincoln is just a bum. He slept with me, and now he's in here with mommy. He's just a bum. In there right with Yeah, cause Ben fell asleep in his office. <laughs> yeah. All over the yeah. place. Yeah. By the time she came out with Reagan, she was like, eh. I saw him. He was knocked out. I was like, I'm not even about to wake him <laughs> up. I'm finna go to sleep. That's funny. But yeah, so um, <clears throat> I got to get going though so I can drop the car off, like I said. And then uh, tomorrow is a travel day for Gabriel and I. So we've got a few little, we got a little bit of content done yesterday. We got two pieces of content done, one sent off, and we got one that oh, she just got to do a voice voiceover. voiceover. Did you ever give me that? <clears throat> no. Okay, I need that. You don't need nothing. Fucking yeah. Me but yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. So it should be a good oh, day. We need to be exactly. We need to be packing. So, um, but yeah, so wish us luck to get packed. I'll check in with you in a little bit. I'm sure Gabriel will as well. And Lincoln. You have anything to say for yourself, Bobby? So I'm trying to get my sleep down. You got a haircut, buddy, coming up. Oh, yeah. I got my stuff out the baby. I dressed. And something. I need to be working out, but I think the priority is to pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since I'm really struggling on that front. And then hopefully, if I get packed by midday, I can then go work out. Um, that's the plan. I started packing. It's like I started pulling outfits together on Sunday. But here we are on Thursday. And nothing has happened since then. It's like I'll start. I'll get a head start. And then I'll waste the days in between. It's like I need to be doing a little bit every day. Plus, all of my clothes. Y'all yeah, know I just switched out my closet. What was that? February? The end of January? February? So all of my summer stuff is in the basement. So I'm like trying to figure out we're going you know somewhere where it's warm so nothing in my closet can go with me so i have bought a couple things from target i got a couple cute things from target but i really just need to go and take some inventory of what i have down there and just shop from my summer clothes downstairs that's the plan find a couple of dresses a little tanks call it a day figure out what i'm wearing to the airport that's probably the hardest part for me like as much as i travel I do not have a standard airport outfit. Like I don't, I switch it up every time. Like I never know what I want to look like or how, I want to be comfortable, but I also want to be cute. So, <laughs> it's such a struggle. You laughing at me? You just want to be comfortable at the airport, huh? <laughs> so funny. 
See, he's got on his shorts today. Talking about he needs some pants. I swear, every other month we are buying him more pants because he's just growing like crazy. You getting some loving, Lincoln? I'm getting some loving. You getting some loving? <laughs> he's like, yeah. Eat that belly. <laughs> Baby didn't have any chance to make any coffee this morning, so I guess it's all me. I feel like I watched him last time he made it on camera. I was watching the vlog and I was like, oh, maybe I'll be filling it up too much. Cause I don't feel like he put in as much as I be putting in. The last of the coffee. So I feel like when he filled it up, I think he stopped lower than that, but it's in there. So that's what we rolling with as I add more. <laughs> I don't know what I'm mean doing. Just make the coffee. I don't know. See how it turns out. Super green to my creating. Sorry, this is the lighting. Every time I move y'all, these windows, the lighting is looking quite raggedy. <clears throat> this is all the stuff from the content we shot last night. I didn't want to like get rid of it completely in case they had some um, edits to the content, but it's so cute. They sent us a little um, charcuterie board and everything. It was like a like a movie night is what we did with the kids with their favorite movie of the season. You probably saw the packaging. Um, by the time you see this video, it will have been up anyway for trolls. So they sent all of this troll stuff. And um, yeah, like toys and did like the tablecloth. Like I set it all up with the popcorn and everything. It turned out really cute, which <laughs> thank gosh, because it was a very last minute like film. We filmed it last night and probably like 8 30 9 o'clock because it was due yesterday and we didn't realize that so <laughs> uh our manager was like <coughs> excuse me just checking in on the content he was like oh we should probably do that so we won't be with the kids this weekend so we got it done and hopefully they won't need any edits but i'm saving all of it just in case there's something we missed and they need you know Whatever, thankfully because it's going up tomorrow whatever edits they had they would request them today which would be perfect because we will still be here today so but I think I think it's solid I'm looking for no edits because it turned out really good I feel like that's babe's sweet spot babe edits all of our like our Instagram um, ads when we work with uh, brands he pretty much edits all of them. Some of them I do, it depends. So when there's more of like recaps and things, so like if we travel and it's a recap or something like that, most times I will edit those with an exception of some here and there. But when it's like a brand deal where we're like specifically talking about a product and you know, doing little things, babe edits those. And I think he's really good at editing it. I, like, I feel like we found a sweet spot of what works for us in terms of brand deals, like I'm confident in my voiceover. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I get my little ad voiceover going, he gets it put together, we find the music, like finds the music and all of that. I think they come together very nicely. Uh, <laughs> although, you know, <clears throat> I think people are just tired of seeing ads every now and then, but we gotta eat. So um, they are entertaining. I like them because they're entertaining to me and I think to others too. Some people really like them. So yeah, I bought this charm for my, I bought this charm for my Stanley cup and I just broke it. As I was trying to fill up my water, I have all the pieces though. I need like some pliers. It's got this little bitty chain and this little bitty, the circle. I feel like I don't even need to be wasting time doing this. See, this is how I get distracted because it'll take me 30 minutes to figure this out. It's 30 minutes that I need to be 
looking at my summer clothes downstairs. Oh, that wasn't too bad. But I do need pliers to close it up. And I guess I could use my teeth. Hmm. Let's go over here too. I definitely need pliers. Putting this on here. Hmm. I'm doing the most. Let's go look for some clothes in the basement. I'm gonna take y'all with me. So I, <laughs> I never actually put these away. They just, the declutterers, they just stuck them down here and I never moved them to that side. So, hmm. Also, yes, I know we need to change the smoke detector, but we need to buy some, what is it, 9 volt batteries. They went to change it, but realized we didn't have the correct battery. So, yes, we are aware we need to change those out. I will probably get to those too. This is cute. All the way at the bottom of my fist for um it's like a beach cover up situation. This is real cute. I got this at VC dolls or Beachy VC. I forgot I had that. I'm definitely gonna take this because that'll be cute by the pool. Or walking down to the beach. I just bought this cream um, bathing suit too. So that could be cute. Isn't that really cute? I like it. What else? What are my shirts? I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this without having to pull it all out and make a mess. Sorry. I'm like, you're tearing, tearing up all the tissue paper that I need. Oh, that's just cute. I forgot about this sweater. I wonder if it's going to be too hot for this sweater. I bought this sweater and I never got to wear it. It's so cute, right? I got it from Zara last year and I never wore it. It's going to be like 85. I feel like this is good for 85. It's still spring ish. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll bring this in the skirt that I have. I bought this skirt to go with it. They didn't come together, but I bought this skirt to go with it. Never wore it. Okay, this is an option. Okay, okay, okay. I'm putting cool, cool it together. I already have one dress upstairs, two dresses upstairs, but this could be a There is one dress that I know I'm looking for. Figure out where it fits. I was just telling them yesterday when they came to uh, help me organize my bathroom that I'm gonna need to switch out my closet. I waited way too late in the game to do that. This is a cute little throw dress. <laughs> the funny part is that all of these have tags on them. None of this I wore last year. Well, some of it, but a lot of it I just didn't do. I have this yellow dress, but I'm looking for it in the striped version. I have a yellow version, but I have a like a brown and tannish colored stripe I was looking for. But I guess I can wear the yellow one if I don't find it. Look at that box with these came in. Does it have a little like a quick thing to close this. Oh, my hangers. Oh. I bet you it was in this one. I don't really want to go through any of them that are vacuumed already because I don't want to have to read it up. I don't even know how you, what you do, just release it? I've never used these vacuum bags before, so I don't really know. Do I just open it? What do I do it? <laughs> you just open it. Okay. Oh, I need to do that. Okay. This one, though. This one here. I don't need all of these. 
This is stressing me out because I want to look, but I don't really want to look because I don't want to mess it up. I'm about to just open the bag. I quit. Oh, it's a bitch in here. I'm not looking for it. Oh. Okay. We got a couple options for me to try on. The goal is to use the small one. Wish me luck, okay? Come on. What up, y'all? Happy day. Woo, man. Good day. Good day so far. Long day. Um, windows are tinted. Um, you can kind of see uh, they are nice and tinted. They look good. Um, I can't, you know, roll down the windows right now. Um, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, so basically, um, it's like I said, it was a good day. Um, just busy. Uh, got some stuff done. And um, now heading home because Chad Jr. has a like a showcase thing where he like um, has I guess some of his work and projects or stuff will be like shown. Excuse <laughs> me. Um, I think he didn't even know. He was just like so he he wasn't sure. So yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, going to home so I can pick him up and then we're gonna meet uh, Mama up there because she's out running some errands. And then Reagan's school is right next to us, so we'll pick her up too so she can check it out. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on because we got small group tonight too. So then we're gonna go back for small group and then I need to pack for our trip tomorrow because we leave in the morning and I have not packed anything. Um, but. I mean, it, it, it takes me like 20 minutes, so I'll be good. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. So I traded today. I lost $250. It was like 50, $251. Um, hit my stop loss, um, which it happens. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't take away from my weekly profits. My weekly profits have been uh, much more you know, than that. Um, so um, yeah, so that's the biggest thing, y'all. If you're, if you're trading or you're doing any kind of investing, um, you know, day trading specifically or, or scalping or swing trading, then you have to really work on your, um, your, um, risk management and understanding stop losses and, and being okay with the loss. I think that was my biggest issue learning how to trade was being okay with a loss, like accepting a loss. It's not easy to accept a loss, to accept a loss. It's not easy. It's just not easy. And, um, so yeah, that was the biggest thing that, you know, I had to overcome and I still work on it every day. That's why stop loss is very important. Um, I always have it set. I know where my stop loss will be so that, you know, in case the, the candle goes the other way, I can get out and I can try again. But unfortunately, I just didn't have time to try again today. I could have made that back and made some more, but I just didn't have time. So it is what it is. Small loss. Well, uh, small loss. Got a good game for the week so far. I got one more day to trade. And then, um, yeah, so it should be a, a good overall week in the market. Um, but yeah, let's uh, head home, get the boy, and get to a showcase. Update. I'm not done packing. It's 3.30, 3.45. I don't know, four o'clock? <laughs> I never change my watch when the time changed. It's 3.58. And I'm on my way to the store because I ordered a pair of shoes and I have to pick them up. And it's like 20 minutes away. So my priorities, boy, I tell you. A hot mess express. And I've done all that I can do until tonight because Chad Jr. has a showcase at school. We have small group at our house that we're hosting. So yeah, I'm about to just be up. No surprise there. Every time we take a trip, I say that I'm gonna do better. <sighs> Not this time. <laughs> I pull up and look who's waiting for me. Hi guys! What's up? What's up? Let's go see the showcase, right, shouty. See them windows? Oh yeah. Oh they blacked out, blacked out. Front street, the top strip on the Okay, you sweet witty. Okay. <laughs> you know what's sexy who calling me? Who calling me from Montgomery, Alabama? Who's sexy? You know what's sexy though? Who? You. Thanks, boo. How you doing? Mm, so good now. <laughs> <laughs> so <Wow. funny. laughs> I made it. 
Do you think that could be the hospital or something? Huh? Did I have to go Montgomery? to the hospital? Oh, the hospital! Crap. Hello? It was the hospital. Just, I thought about it. I have to tell y'all about why the hospital yeah. called me in a minute. All my peeps in the place with a smile on their face. You know we keeping it real, but it's all heart shaped love. Give TV coming at ya.